Look, it's a big breakthrough, uh, somewhat for vaccine development, also for treatments as well. Uh, because as you say, it's the holy grail, not just for uh, COVID, but even for influenza to find a, a conserved part of the virus that uh, even if there are new variants about, won't change. So they've found an antibody that targets a conserved part of the spike protein. And that means, and look, it's, it's affinity. The antibody's affinity does change a little bit with the different variants, but it's still pretty well conserved. So what it means is we've, we've heard about Citrovimab, Evershield, which are combinations of antibodies that you can give to people maybe in their early stages of their illness, or sometimes to people who can't make antibodies to vaccines and that can protect them. So that's certainly one possibility. The other one is this antibody does target a conserved part of the spike protein. So if you can focus on that, mm. you could make uh, a vaccine that uh, won't need to be changed so mm. much. So that's, that is promising, but it's still, it's not gonna be here by the end of the year by any means. Before COVID, there were, there's been chronic fatigue syndrome. So there've been certain infections, uh, glandular fever, Q fever, where a proportion of people don't recover and are left with a constellation of symptoms which are very much like long COVID. And what uh, COVID has allowed us to do, it's allowed us the attention, uh, the resources and the interest to actually work out what's going on. And what we've learned from COVID so far, it doesn't seem to be one thing causing long COVID. There seem to be a number of factors, interferon levels there, small clots here, maybe reactivation of a glandular fever virus there. So, and now with the chronic fatigue syndrome, I haven't seen the paper, but I think it has something to do with calcium transfer between cells. So there may be another fact. So it's not just one thing, it's mm. complex. So it is really important to understand it fully. So moving ahead, we can look at a cure. Mm. We know that the majority of people who get long COVID, if you use the World Health Organization, that's uh, symptoms more than three months after your acute, il acute illness, they will get over it but there are a proportion who are still grumbling, mm. grumbling on. Only, unfortunately, only time will tell. Mm.